We create vocabulary videos. Um, generally, when you learn vocabulary, sometimes, especially if you're reading a textbook, you look at the word, you look at the word in context, you look up the definition, and then you're expected to memorize it. Um, that's traditionally how it's been done. But I've decided to take it and make it a little bit more interesting. So we've created videos where the kids have to act out the words. I usually provide visual cues because they are ESL learners and they need some sort of um, assistance with understanding the word itself. What kind of bone does that big dog have? Little dog. A little bone. And there's a little dog and he's got a big bone. Does that dog look very happy with his little bone? Why not? So then they have to determine what the word means from context and from the visual clue, and not only take that, but then they have to decide how they're going to act it out. You have five minutes to figure out how you're gonna act out this word, okay? And I usually require that the way they act it out is different than any sort of visual cue I've given them, so that it really makes their brains think and process that word and take it and decide how to use it in real life. And then we share the videos with the rest of the class, so not only are they learning their word, they're also seeing the other words that other groups have done. Perfect, that's awesome, that's a great way to show envy. Very Thank good. You. And to see the words in action, um, it's so much better for ESL kids than just having a definition because you can get trapped by the vocabulary and the definition if they don't know what that means, but if they see it acted out, they definitely understand it a lot better. Who is yellow and dances in the undersea barn? Who? Who? SpongeBob Square Dance. <laughs> <laughs> they just light up when you bring that technology out. The first time I mentioned the public service announcements, the ideas that just flowed were just so incredible and I didn't even realize my kids could be that incredibly creative and they were so excited. They wanted to start filming right away <laughs> and skip a couple processes, but they've learned now that the more you plan, the better it ends up. Um, so they've really just come alive through using the technology. When we do these kind of videos, they're definitely having to take what they they've learned and teach it to somebody else, which is the best way to learn something yourself. And it's great for them, it's great to help their English because they're required to process and think. It's so much more engaging. They want to participate, they want to do well, and they've definitely become more engaged in what we're doing in the classroom.